Hey guys, Kim here. I'm going to bring you two quick reviews today. Uh, the first one is on Garnier Olea hair dye, that really new oil-based dye that's just come out recently. And the next will be on the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hours Combination Oily Skin Foundation. So I'll just do the Garnier Olea really quick. You can see what my old hair color looks like looking at my other videos. Um, it was starting to get dull and patchy and my roots were really coming in and I like keeping a deep dark brown chocolatey color for my hair. It works best with my skin tone and my eyes that I've found. So I had been dying to try out Garnier Olier and um, I picked one up at Target and I got 415 and that is soft mahogany brown and if your hair, they have a little hair scale on the back so you're essentially supposed to get about the same shade no matter what your tone is. Um, as you can see my hair matches fairly well, I think, to the box. And I have very pretty red tints in it in the sun when I'm driving and when I'm in really direct light. But it still looks natural. It doesn't have like any purple tones um, that I can tell. So I'm pretty pleased with this. And I have to say, this was the most luxurious like box hair dye I have ever used. And it wasn't that expensive. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for it now, but it smelled amazing, like a bouquet of roses or something. And it comes actually, usually Garnier doesn't come with a lot of conditioner to use afterwards. It actually came with like a nice tube of conditioner to use. And like I said, it smelled amazing. There was no chemical smell whatsoever. And I had the vent on in my bathroom and I was like ready to be gagged by, you know, hair dyes that say they smell good and they really don't but this smells incredible and my hair smelled like a bed of roses after I was done and it was fantastic and my hair feels so healthy and shiny and the color is really rich and vibrant I really can't say enough good about this I love this we'll definitely use again so all good stuff to say about Olia next is Revlon color stay and I figured I'd give you guys a demo when I put it on. I have very oily skin. Uh, I don't know if you can tell in the light. You can see the sheen on my face. But I have oily skin genetically and um, I'm always on the lookout for foundations. Sorry, I'm just like shaking it up. I'm always on the lookout for foundations that will help make my skin uh, not so oily or look for methods of applying foundation that will keep the oil down. And this one has gotten really good reviews, so I thought, well, I'll try this. I've been using it for a while now because I wanted to withhold judgment until I'd really experienced using this foundation. I will say it does last a very long time, um, but it does not keep my oil in, and it... Mm, it's really hard to match your skin tone to this foundation and the reason for that is this when I tried it on in the store it looked like it was a perfect match for my skin tone and this is 200 nude um, and unfortunately what I did not realize about this foundation is that this foundation really oxidizes about an hour after you have it on and it oxidizes toward an orange tone so what ends up happening when I wear this throughout the day is that this turns into sort of it almost looks like I've fake tanned my face when I use this. So if I get this again, which I'm not sure I will because it doesn't help oily skin as promised, it I'm definitely going to have to get a lighter shade because, or a more yellow shade because it turns orange on my skin. So I thought I'd just do a quick demo for you guys because I haven't done my foundation. You can tell my skin's looking pretty rough. So I'm going to use, I actually use a foundation for my under eye circles. I found one that covers them up. And I just use Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in Creamy Natural. And it's light five. And this is very peach toned. So it really covers up my dark circles. And I'm just going to look in the mirror that I have down here because it's hard to tell with it reflected in my camera what exactly I'm doing. So I've already done my eye makeup, and the reason I did my eye makeup first, I'm sure you all already know this, is if you do a dark eye look, typically the powder in the eyeshadow can fall down. Or sometimes, you know, maybe you're clumsy with the wand and your mascara slips and you get your face. So I always find it's easier if I'm doing a dark eye look, um, I put it on first. So then I don't have to worry about cleanup or anything. So now I'm going to put my Revlon on the back of my hand, and I will be applying this with... 
my Everyday Minerals flat top brush. So you coat the end of the brush and then you stipple it onto your face and I find this is the best way to use a flat top brush. Stipple it on where you need coverage the most and then you can buff it into your skin. And I will say this about flat top brushes, I learned this the hard way. I do not recommend using these if you have an issue with peach fuzz on your face. Um, I used to have a lot of peach fuzz and when I would use this buffing brush it would just make it really stand out and I felt like I had like a beard all over my face and that's not the most flattering thing especially if you're trying to make your skin look nice. So when you're using a flat top brush in case you're not sure you just go in little concentric circles and I've heard that if you want to get rid of peach fuzz and use a brush like this when you finish the look you just go straight down but I have to admit that doesn't really work either so um, I actually use a spring I found on sale on Amazon for like three dollars and it got rid of all of my facial hair so I don't use depilatories or anything anymore so I find that works the best get my laugh lines because I'm getting old ha 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 get my nose and now I'm just gonna do a little bit on my forehead and um, the good thing about this foundation is that it does last a very long time. Unfortunately, as I said, it gets so orangey that, you know, what, what's the point of it lasting that long if it's the wrong color? So I highly recommend if you're in the store and you find what you think is a good match for you with this foundation, please learn from my experience and get a shade that is a shade lighter than what you think matches your skin. Otherwise, it's not going to turn out as well as you'd like. So, when you're done with the buffing brush, sometimes you can see, I'm not sure if you can tell, there are little streaks on the skin that can occur, or maybe the corners of your nose didn't get covered, so then you just take your fingers and you smooth out those little bits of areas that you think look a little bit more rough than you would prefer. You smooth them out, and again, make sure you bring it down your neck because I said this before, but ladies, you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask when you've got foundation on, especially a foundation like this that oxidizes and changes color. It's not good to have happen because then you really look like you're wearing a mask, and nobody wants to look like that. So anyway, that's my review of this foundation. I have not made up my mind whether or not I would like to buy this again. As I said, if I did, I would get a shade lighter. However, I will definitely be buying Garnier Olea again. My hair feels so healthy and shiny. Um, I feel like it's so dimensional with the color and it's soft, like it's, it's so soft I can't even get over it. So, highly recommend Garnier Olea. It's very high quality, probably like I said, the most luxurious hair dye that I've ever used from a box at home. And um, I'm kind of like both ways on Revlon Color Stay. Doesn't really keep my oil in. Uh, it oxidizes a shade darker. However, it does last all day, which for if you do have oily skin, that's usually a problem. But something in this really grips it to your face. And as you saw, I didn't use any primer with this. Maybe if I used a primer, um, it would control the oil better. But typically in the morning when I'm getting ready for work at 5.30 a.m. I forget to use a primer. So anyway, I hope these helped you guys and um, take care, stay warm during this second winter slash spring that we're having this year. And I'm out, bye.